Hi everyone, my name is Megan and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing my 12 week pregnancy update. The baby is about the size of a lion now. Here's what it looks like. It seems crazy to me that it's already that big. I can definitely tell that it's getting bigger, quite a bit bigger, because I am showing a lot. And I didn't show with Sophia, it seems like, until partway through my second trimester. And I'm still in my first, and I, I really feel like I'm showing a lot. I've actually already started using my maternity jeans again, because all of my other regular jeans are really uncomfortable now. I can use a rubber band around the button. I, I can't actually button the button of most of them anymore, but the rubber band is just kind of annoying and it's not super comfortable. And I'm always worried that it's going to break when I'm out in public and I won't have an extra one. <laughs> so I just switched to my maternity jeans. Last time I didn't get them until the end of my pregnancy and I really wish that I had them sooner. I think it's so, so worth buying like actual high quality maternity jeans with the big belly band that comes all the way up to the top of your belly. They're super comfortable and they make such a difference. I'm still having the nausea and exhaustion and heartburn. The nausea has actually gotten worse. I figured it would start getting better now that I've hit the 12 week mark. I'm to my second trimester and it's still getting worse. Like the beginning of my pregnancy, it was, it was kind of bearable. It would come in pretty strong bursts, but I wouldn't almost throw up. But now it's getting to the point where every time I get nauseated, which is a lot, I have to run to the bathroom and I, I seriously think I'm gonna throw up, but then it never happens, which is annoying because I feel like it would be a relief to actually throw up and like relieve that. So it's kind of annoying and it's been waking me up at night, which sucks because Sophia is actually sleeping through the night now, so I could sleep through the night, except for the nausea. I'm really looking forward to that leaving. I, I really hope that it doesn't last for my whole pregnancy. It didn't with Sophia, but every pregnancy is different and that would be really hard if I had it through my entire pregnancy. I have gained about 13 pounds already. I normally went, weigh 140 and now I weigh 153 and that's totally fine. I tend to gain more than a lot of women do. With Sophia I did gain 60 pounds and I'm kind of guessing that I'll gain more with this one, but you just never know, and I'm really not concerned about it. I only weighed myself because I had my prenatal visit and my midwife wanted to know what I weighed. With Sophia's pregnancy, I agonized over how much I weighed, and I would ask her, like, is this normal? And I would look up charts online, and it, you know, it really doesn't matter. You just eat when you're hungry, try to eat as healthy as you can, and some women gain a lot of weight, and that's not, it's not that bad. I mean, some women just don't gain very much weight, even though they eat a ton, and that's fine too. I think the only issue is when you are gaining a lot of weight and then you stop eating to try to slow it down. Like, if your body's gaining that weight, your baby needs it. That's, that's just my opinion. But talk to your doctor or midwife about your particular situation, but I'm really not concerned about gaining 60, 70, 80 pounds. I mean, I, I really don't care. <laughs> and speaking of prenatal visit, my midwife appointment went really, really well. I was really excited to see her. It's been a while. And it was really fun to just sit and talk about the next plan for my labor. And she was talking about how it's probably gonna be way easier this time around, which I'm really excited about because the first time was really hard. And that I'm less likely to hemorrhage, which is really great because if, if my labor is shorter, she, she lives an hour away, and so if my labor is an hour or less, she won't make it here in time. So it was really good to hear that it's really unlikely that I'll hemorrhage if my labor's fast. Because the, the reason I hemorrhaged with Sophia was because my labor was 24 hours and my uterus was so tired that it, it just forgot to clamp down at the end and stop the bleeding when my placenta detached. She also measured my stomach, and I was right about 11 weeks when she came. And you're supposed to measure in centimeters, like from your belly button to your pubic bone, like however many weeks you are, that's how many centimeters it should be. So it should have been 11, I was 12, which she said, as long as it's in with two centimeters, that's totally normal. So she said she wouldn't worry that it's twins yet, which I, I'm still having the twins dream, so I'm a little concerned about it, but she said to not worry, so I'm trying not to worry. We also got to hear the heartbeat, which was really exciting, because I also had a dream that I wasn't really pregnant, 
and I was just having a lot of weird symptoms from something else. So I really wanted to hear the heartbeat and now I have a little bit of reassurance that I actually am pregnant. I'm not going crazy. So <laughs> that was fun. It took a while to find the heartbeat because right now the placenta is louder than the heartbeat of the baby, but we finally found it. It took a little while and it was still really faint, but that's that's what it was. Mostly what I've been dealing with this last week or so is just trying to keep up with Sophia and all my housework and making dinners. It's really hard to keep up with all that and still make videos. So I've been feeling really, really exhausted and not really keeping up on anything. And Sophia has gotten extremely mobile. Like her mobility has just reached a whole new level these last couple weeks. And she crawls extremely fast and she eat everything on the floor so I have to vacuum and sweep every day at least every other day otherwise it's just it's bad <laughs> and we just got a dog that's long-haired and shedding and I find little chunks of hair all over the floor that she likes to eat so the dog's helping keep her entertained so it's worth it <laughs> so here's the bump you can definitely tell that I'm starting to show a lot more and here's my maternity jeans that I love I got these from Motherhood Maternity and they are amazing. There's the little bump. And from the front. I always get really excited when I actually start showing and people can tell I'm pregnant and I haven't just had a big dinner. So I think that's all for this update. It's just going to be really short and there's not too much that has changed from my 10 week update, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm really excited to have you guys follow along on this really exciting journey and I will see you in my next video. Bye.